Hello YouTube, and welcome to Making Your Website in Dreamweaver Part 2. This is going to go over links, new pages, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're just going to want to open up Dreamweaver, file, open, go to where we have our template, and import the index open so now what we have is what we edited before the first video and I'm gonna tell you how to link things this is a cool website okay now I can just put if you I'm giving you a little example if you want to know oh my god to know where I got it, where I got the template, click here. Now, here is what you want to make clickable. So you're going to highlight here. And this is way easier than any other website builder because you don't have to use HTML code like A href equals all that crap you just highlight it and under here where it says link that's where you want to link it to so what I'm gonna do is go to this page go to their home page and the bad thing is about it though is you can't copy and paste you just have to type it down raw so freewebtemplates.com but you have to put http http colon slash slash free web what did I have is it free website nope it's just free web templates dot com now when I click at there it should look like that. I'm just going to go to preview in Safari. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to click yes. And now here it is. Click here. It should take you to their website. And that website obviously is a pop up website. So you're going to get some pop ups on that. But that's okay. Now what we're going to do is talk about how to add a new page. Okay? So. Say you want to make a download tab. Um, under the blogs, I'm just going to change that text to downloads. Now what you're going to want to do is over here in the index, go up to file and click save as. And what you're going to want to do is name it download. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it what it what the tab is so it's easier to know what it is when I click on it and save. Now a new tab should come up, the download.html and it's going to be a complete copy of the index. That way you have the same template. So obviously you would want to change that to the downloads and I'm not going to edit anything else. I mean, I guess I'll just delete everything else actually. And I could just, you know, say, blah, blah. and then, yeah. But now you want it to get linked. What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to highlight the text that says downloads. You're going to want to go to right click on it, change link. And click the downloads.html. Choose file save. You're gonna to want to go back to your index tab and change this text to downloads like we already did. I don't know why it's still there. And file save. Highlight the downloads. Change link. Go to the downloads tab. That should be it. Now we save it again, preview in browser, and now when we click on downloads, it should take us to the new tab, and that you could edit and whatever. 
So now you pretty much found out how to add a new tab and add links in Dreamweaver. The next tutorial, um, actually we can probably fit it in this one. If you wanted to add an image like in the downloads tab, so maybe like a download image. I don't know, it's not going to be a download image. Whatever you want. Just go to insert. Image. Uh, oh, one more thing. This guy put all the images in here. So if I wanted to import that, look it. I imported the 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 top thing. You know what I'm saying, guys? So like, I can pretty much just import things that he put in here. That's why there's the image folder. But I'm gonna delete that. And yeah. So that's that. And um, thanks for watching this video. The next one is going to be, um, you know, putting your website onto a web domain once it's done and everything. And that's it. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and stay tuned for how to make your website in Dreamweaver Part 3. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.